Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you're a returning viewer or subscriber. I have a French day and it's a little bit scary but just having a bad hair day and pinning it back was the best solution. In today's video I'm going to be talking to you about all the books that I hope to get to throughout the month of July. July is my birthday month and it's the start of the summer so naturally I feel like it's going to be a little bit busy. But I'm not sure how many of these books I'll actually get to and also whether what I want to pick up might change throughout the month. For now, in this current moment, these are the books that I would love to get to soon. My TBR videos are usually quite short, so I will be doing what I usually do. I'm reading the first line of each book so that we can kind of get a little taster of what they might be like. And yeah, without further ado, let's get on to the video. So the very first book I have to mention is one that I just want to finish off. I think I want to start at the end of May and I'm still going into July. Yes, that is Sense of Sensibility by Jane Austen. A classic classic, not even a modern classic, a proper classic that's been slow going, but I'm very much enjoying it. It just takes me longer than a normal book would to get through. So on page 247 and there's 444 pages in this book. So I've got about 200 pages left which means I'm over halfway I am very much enjoying it like I said it's just taking me a little while and today's the last day of June so realistically I could get it done today but there's another book that I want to finish off and I think I'm going to prioritize that one over this one so that I'm not rushing it and I can get the maximum enjoyment out of it but this book follows Eleanor and Marianne who are two sisters who have very different personalities Eleanor is the sense and Marianne is a sensibility they kind of approach life very differently and you kind of see them navigate romantic relationships with each other by their sides there's a lot of humor in this there's a lot of beautiful lines a lot of insight like i said i'm really enjoying it so the first line in this is the family of dashwood had been long settled in sussex as for books that i haven't actually begun yet and i would just love to get to in the month of july i have a theater for dreamers by polly sampson this is a book that i mentioned in my five star predictions video i would like to do a video kind of following up from that one where i read one of the books that i mentioned in that and the book i've chosen is this one so i'd like to do a vlog on it which just means i kind of do need to read the book. This book follows Erica, she's 18, she's ready for freedom. It's the summer of 1960 when she lands on the sun-baked Greek island of Hydra. She is swept up in a circle of bohemian poets, painters, musicians, writers and artists living tangled lives. Life on the island paradise is heady, dreamlike, a string of seemingly endless summer days but nothing can last forever. This sounds beautiful. My brother and his fiancée are going to a Greek island this month, I'm sure. I will feel envious of them so i'm gonna read this to try and escape to one myself the first line in this one is does this even have chapters this is confusing me so much oh here chapter one i'm being silly many dine out on well-worn yarns of backpacking along the winding dusty roads east that became known as the hippie trail actually i think i just caught in the next paragraph that this is set in easter but i'm gonna pretend it's the summertime just ignore it. Then we have another book I'm going to read for a vlog. This is one that has been on my TBR for a very long time because I've always known that I wanted to film this video and I used to just hurry up and read the book so I can do that again. And that's Ricochet by Crystal Becker Ritchie. This is the second book in the Addicted series. So we're following Lily and Lo and their kind of entourage. Both Lily and Lo are struggling with separate addictions. Their friends kind of help them through that. But it's also just kind of a love story between two characters and each friend's kind of couple. Like I said, Ricochet is the second book. I've already filmed a one book focused reading vlog on the first in this series, which I'll have a link to, but I just need to do a second one this is a very short little book i'm sure that it won't take very long to get through i'm not going to read you the back of it just because we'll probably spoil things but i will read you the first line i f***ed up that's the only thought i have when i digest my surroundings interesting a kind of equally short book also hopefully a very quick read is one italian summer by Rebecca Sur Surley. This is on my summer TBR and now obviously seems like the perfect time to be reading this book. It's about a girl whose mother dies and they've always wanted to go to Italy. A daughter travels over there on her own and then the impossible happens. Her mother appears for real in the flesh. Someone I follow on Instagram actually recently read this book and they said that it has time travel in it which I didn't know about. But I guess that makes sense with the whole thing of her mother being alive once she gets to Italy. That's kind of made me a little bit apprehensive about it but I'm hoping that it'll just be like a quick fun summer read and something that I won't have to take kind of too seriously. Although I'm kind of scared that it's going to be a little bit heavy because of the subject matter of grief being like a present topic in this. Set in Italy, set during the summertime for sure. Hopefully it's a good time. Okay, first line. I've never smoked, but it's the last day of my mother's Shiva, so here we are. These are some funny first lines. And then lastly, the very final book that I have here is the second book in the Caraval trilogy. It's called Legendary. I read Caraval for the first time in 2018, and then I never picked up the second book, so I decided to reread Caraval a couple months ago so that I could kind of refresh myself and pick up the sequels. And I still haven't picked up the second book, so I think it's time that I read this one before I have to reread Caraval again, so I can keep myself in the loop a little bit. But yeah, Caraval is about a kind of circus carnival game which two sisters get swept up in. It's a very magical fantasy book, and you are definitely left with lots of questions at the end of Caraval. You kind of discover like a lot more about what's actually going on at the end of that. I'm hoping that I'm going to get some answers to my questions in this book, as well as a continuation of the romance subplot because that was 
immaculate. Without spoiling this, it says, a heart to protect, a debt to repay, a game to win. Let's see if I can read you the first line. While some rooms on the estate had monsters hiding beneath the beds, Talus wore her mother's suite, concealed in enchantments. So there you have it, everybody. Those are the, how many books did I even pick out? One, two, three, four, five books. I will hopefully get to more than this, because I'm thinking I'll finish Sense and Sensibility quite quickly into the month. There we go. We've got quite the summery colour palette. I do really like that a lot. There's lots of like light pastel blues and purples, but also some warmer kind of rusty oranges and yellows. I'm excited to see what I think. Should we do some predicted ratings? Because this video is so short. Sense and Sensibility is currently probably sitting at around a four, but I do find myself kind of gravitating towards fours with classics because I acknowledge that they're great books. I just personally don't feel like five stars about them. So I'm interested to see how this might change towards the latter kind of third of the book, but we'll see. A Theatre for Dreamers was obviously my five star prediction video, so I am predicting, I'm hoping that this will indeed be a five star read. If it's not, then I'm thinking it will be around a four or 4.5. I'm really hoping to love that one though. Ricochet, um, hmm. I gave the first book a three stars. I think this one can fall somewhere around there, but maybe I'll be more attached to the characters by this point. I heard that the third book is where Lillian Lowe's story kind of really picks up. So I'm thinking that this one might be another kind of three stars or 3.5. Maybe 3.5 if I gave the first book three. One Italian Summer. I was thinking this was going to be like a four, but since I had the time travel thing, I'm kind of scared. It is beloved by Gabrielle Zevin, who wrote Tomorrow and Tomorrow Tomorrow, and they said, Rebecca Serle is a maestro of love in all its forms, which is kind of high praise. So, hmm, I'm thinking 3.5. And then Legendary, I gave Caraval four stars. Yes, thought I just lied. But I'm hoping, oh, I don't know. It might have second book syndrome, because it was the second book in a trilogy, but it also could be better than Caraval. I'm really not sure the direction the series is going to take, so I'm feeling like we have a lot of three, 3.5 stars this month, which I'm hoping to be proven wrong. If that's happening, then I might throw in a book that I also have high hopes for, because I really don't want another month of kind of mediocre ratings. I want to really love stuff, I don't want to just kind of like it or enjoy it a little bit we shall see hopefully a five star it's been a while since i had one though but there you go everybody i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up that's how you let me know that you liked what you saw i really appreciate the kind of signal and if you like the content that much even more than warranting just giving it a thumbs up you can of course subscribe I'd love to have you around here i also wanted to thank you all for the love that i had on my previous video which was reading louise van i's favorite book i had so much fun filming that planning it whatever i've already gone into depth in that video about how i felt the response has been absolutely magical because the amount of effort i put into that was insane like i spent a good kind of nine hours editing that video so to have people leave such lovely comments has really meant the world to me if you would like to check out that video then it will be linked there down below but yeah i'm hoping to put a similar amount of effort into future videos i have planned i've got lots of ideas brewing in my head and yeah all right i'll love you and leave you and i'll see you next wednesday for my june wrap up